Hello, classmates. Welcome to the online class of Chinese medicine gerontology. Today, we learn about the contents of geriatric delirium. First, we study the definition, epidemiology, and risk factors of delirium in the elderly. Delirium is an acute episode of confusion, with inattention, confusion, incoherence, and abnormal sensory function. Delirium can be induced by a variety of causes. It is acutely onset, with disorientation, hallucinations, anxiety, disorganized speech, irritability and delusions as its main clinical manifestations. It has the characteristics of fluctuating day and night, which is a comprehensive need of urgent treatment. Signs often occur during exacerbation of physical disease, infection, ischemia and hypoxia, during or after surgery. The incidence of delirium is very high among the elderly, and it brings a huge economic burden to society. For the general population over 55 years old, the incidence of delirium is 1.1%, but after age 65, the risk of delirium increases by 1% for each additional year. The overall incidence of delirium among patients admitted to the emergency department over the age of 80 can reach 34.8%, which is 1.6 times that of the 65-79-year-old group, 2.3 times that of the 50-64-year-old group and 8 times that of the group under the age of 50 years. Delirium indicates a poor prognosis, and the mortality rate of delirium patients is 22% minus 76%. Delirium can sometimes be caused by a single cause, but it is often the result of the interaction of predisposing factors and predisposing factors. Common clinical susceptibility factors include pre-existing cognitive deficits or dementia, advanced age, severe underlying diseases and functional deficits, male dysfunction, depression, chronic renal insufficiency, dehydration, malnutrition, alcoholism, sensory loss, hearing, vision disorders, etc. Common predisposing factors include drug use, surgery, restricted mobility, indwelling urinary catheter, physiological suppression, hypoxemia, anemia, dehydration and electrolyte disturbance, pain, malnutrition, sleep deprivation, iatrogenic causes, medical diseases, co-infections, metabolic mental disorders, alcohol or drug poisoning or withdrawal syndrome, environmental factors, and psychosocial factors. Regarding the understanding of the etiology and pathogenesis of delirium in old Chinese medicine, the following is a brief introduction. The elderly are weak in body, empty in the marrow sea, and Yuan Shen is deprived. The spleen and stomach are gradually weakened, the luck is abnormal, and the phlegm is brewed. Shuxi, qi depression and phlegm, unhealthy diet, spleen and stomach loss of luck and accumulation of phlegm can cause visceral dysfunction and imbalance of yin and yang, phlegm, stagnation, and blood stasis blunt the mind, leading to rebellion. The disease is located in the heart and brain, and is related to the spleen, kidney and liver. The pathological factors are mainly qi, phlegm, fire, and blood stasis, and the four are causal and mixed, and most of them are qi depression. Liver qi stagnation, qi stagnation or heart spleen qi stagnation, stagnation and phlegm, phlegm and sputum intertwined, blinding the magic machine, qi stagnation of fire, sputum refining for phlegm, or phlegm and fire accumulate yangming, disturb the god, condenses stagnation of the brain, and also suffers from blood stasis in addition, elderly patients are frail, weak and hard spleen and kidney, lack of qi and blood biochemistry, deficient in primordial spirit, and empty in the marrow. Therefore, the occurrence of delirium is often accompanied by the deficiency of the organs below. We briefly talk about the clinical manifestations, assessment, and diagnosis of delirium in the elderly delirium. As a complex acute brain dysfunction, has relatively special and complicated clinical manifestations. It can be roughly divided into three types in clinical practice, namely hyperactive, active depressive and mixed delirium. Among them, hyperactivity is characterized by high alertness, irritability, irritability, and may have hallucinations or delusions, and aggressive mental behavior abnormalities. 
it is the type of delirium that is most easily found. The activity inhibiting manifestations are drowsiness, indifferent expression, delayed anesthesia, speed of speech, or abnormally slow movements. Because the symptoms are difficult to detect, they are often missed and the overall prognosis is poor. The performance of mixed delirium is that the two types of delirium appear alternately and fluctuate repeatedly. In clinical work, some scales are often used to evaluate delirium, such as the delirium scale, CAM, DRS, DSI, MDAS, etc. Regarding the clinical diagnosis of delirium, due to the complex diagnostic criteria, members of the multidisciplinary team are required to understand the patient's mental state through detailed neuropsychiatric assessment. Diagnosis according to DSMIV's gold standard for delirium diagnosis requires the following four conditions to be met. 1. Acute onset. Often occurs within a few hours to a few days and the disease has a fluctuating and repeated process within 24 hours. 2. Disturbance of consciousness, such as reduced awareness of the external environment, lack of concentration, and easy transfer of attention. 3. Cognitive function changes, such as memory loss, loss of direction, language disorder or disturbance of perception, which cannot be pre-existing explanation of dementia. 4. There are potential causes, including systemic diseases, drug poisoning, sudden withdrawal, and the combined effects of various factors. Because the clinical manifestations of delirium are characterized by sudden onset and fluctuating course, which often worsens at night, geriatricians cannot evaluate patients at the bedside 24 hours a day. Therefore, using the gold standard to diagnose delirium has low feasibility and is extremely clinically delirious, easy to miss diagnosis. Finally, we will focus on the syndrome differentiation treatment of elderly delirium with traditional Chinese medicine. First of all, the principle of syndrome differentiation treatment is still the key to grasping the truth. The acute exacerbation period is biased towards the standard, and the stable period is biased towards the original. In the acute exacerbation period, those who are biased towards the standard, for the phlegm turbidity, phlegm fire, blood stasis, etc., the phlegm, heat, stasis and other treatment methods are used, in the stable period. Those who are partial to the original deficiency mainly use spleen and chi, nourishing and reducing fire, nourish the mind and so on combined with clinical experience. The common syndromes of delirium are six syndromes of heart and spleen deficiency syndrome, phlegm stagnation syndrome, phlegm and fire disturbance syndrome heat trapped heart camp syndrome, phlegm and blood stasis syndrome, huishen yin injury syndrome. In the clinical process, the main symptoms and accompanying symptoms should be distinguished, combined with tongue coating and pulse, and the prescription should be used. The main symptoms of delirium include mental depression, indifferent expressions, trance, and upset dreams. If the symptoms are accompanied by symptoms, it is easy to panic palpitations, crying, disordered speech, limbs, dullness, etc., combined with tongue the pulse, pale tongue and thin white coating, and the pulse are thin and weak. So the syndrome is two syndromes of heart and spleen deficiency. The treatment method should be to strengthen the spleen and chi, and nourish the heart and calm the nerves. Always too restful, disorderly speech, or muttering to himself, suspicious, moody, troublesome and insomnia, not thinking about diet, etc., combined with tongue veins, pale tongue and white greasy tongue, slippery pulse string so the syndrome is phlegm stagnation syndrome, the treatment method should be qi and jiu, phlegm and awakening, then choose fang shunky gitten decoction to add or subtract. The main symptom is also on the side of the sun, such as irritability, body burning, body heat at night, destroying things and hurting people, not avoiding family relations, etc. If accompanied by symptoms such as headache and insomnia, glaring eyes, red face, red eyes, sudden madness and ignorance, yells, does not avoid relatives and spars, over you on, yin, goes to the house, or destroys things, hurts people has excessive strength, does not eat and sleep, thirsty and cold drinks, constipation and red urine, etc.
red tongue, greasy yellow coating, slippery pulse string, so the syndrome is phlegm and fire disturbing the syndrome, the cure should be to clear the heat and phlegm, calm the mind and calm down, give the pig iron to drink addition and subtraction, if accompanied by dizzy words, or faint no words, tongue twitching, faint rash, etc. The tongue veins are red tongue color with no moss and pulse counts, so the syndrome is the syndrome of heat trapped heart camp. The treatment method should be to clear the camp and clear the heat. Wake up. Then choose King Ying Tang Heong Gong Niu Huang pills addition and subtraction. If accompanied by dull complexion, the tongue is dark purple, combined with the tongue veins, the sublingual veins are bluish purple, and the veins are astringent. The syndromes are syndromes of phlegm and blood stasis. The treatment method should promote blood circulation and qi, and reduce phlegm and awaken the mind. If delirium lasts for a long time, delirium lasts for a long time, and the time is constant, the momentum has been slowed down, and the deliberate behavior can be self-control, but there are signs of fatigue, sleeplessness, restlessness, thin body, red and dirty, dry mouth, stool dry. The tip of the tongue is red without moss, with cracks, pulse counts, all the signs above mean fire and yin based on four examinations. The cure should be to nourish and lower the fire, calm the nerves, add and subtract air and jai and dings he pills, the most safe. In addition to traditional Chinese medicine syndrome differentiation treatment, there are non-pharmacological treatments adjustment and behavioral interventions, orientation effects. Promotion of autonomous activities and independent living ability, environmental interventions and medical haloperitol, benzodiazepines, drugs above we have studied the definitions, risk factors, clinical manifestations diagnosis and traditional Chinese and Western medicine treatment of delirium in the elderly I hope you can digest and summarize them after class okay. That is all for today's lesson, thank you all.